We sold the house today for $50,000. Actually, that's funny. I'm so used to saying that. We sold a piece of land today for $50,000. All right, guys, so check it out. We literally made 50 grand today. I'm super excited. This house happens to be, or this lot happens to be, I keep saying that. Hit like if you want me to quit saying the same thing twice. Hit like anyways. The YouTube algorithm loves it, and I love it. But I'm going to go show you this property right now. We just made 50 grand on. I actually, it's funny. I tried to buy this house apparently back in June. It's in the system. This was a cold calling on steroids lead, which means we got it for pennies on the dollar. Link to that description is below in the comments. You can get leads for pennies on the dollar that are instant, consistent, predictable, and scale your business to $100,000 a month and beyond. Anyways, that's where this lead came from. It's amazing. In June, I offered this guy 398. He didn't take it. Tried to sell it retail, couldn't get it. It was listed way higher. My sales guy follows up with him. Prices have been going up. He says, you know what? What do you think, Josh? I said, lock it up. He hadn't budged on his price. He's, he actually wanted 400,000, wouldn't even do the 398 anymore. But we got the property for 400,000. Property came in last Friday. The guy's a taxidermist, a retired taxidermist. He's moving to Africa. And so check this stuff out that he um, had at his property. I didn't see this stuff in person. Brandon, our salesperson did. Um, but the guy lives literally in the same neighborhood as the property that we're buying. Is this stuff amazing or what? And anyways, he had this piece of property. He's owned it forever. So we snagged it. That was Friday. I went to Sedona for the weekend. Actually, on my way out of town, I stopped by. I had to just check it out, put my hands on it real quick. So I was like, this is cool. An info lot right now in Phoenix, Arizona like this is super neat. I thought it was gonna be a hot property, which turns out it was. I mean, it sold right away, which is awesome. So we locked this thing up at 400,000. Finally got the signature. I believe it was Thursday afternoon or Friday afternoon. We typically don't blast properties on Fridays unless we have to. So he went out, got the contract, got nice pictures of the property, got nice drone photos of the property. And we blasted this thing out today. So I went to Sedona for the weekend. That was awesome. Came back home, blasted this thing out today, and it sold. $450,000. Not sure yet what the buyer's going to do with it. He'll probably develop it. But this is a local cool lot. It goes up the mountain. It's got a view of the mountains around it. You could build, it's zoned residential. You could build several houses here. You guys can see these houses in the area are pretty nice too. So that's cool. Somebody's going to have fun developing this, but I'm not. I'm just happy that literally we bought this lead for here. Let's pull it up real quick. That's what this lead cost me. Obviously having a good team in place and good systems in place. We use the best investor CRM to track our leads and follow up with our leads, stuff like that. It's really cool. It has a link to the Google Street View. It's got a link to the Zillow page right on it. It's all synced to Google. It's incredible. If you're flipping, it auto calculates, it spreads, it does all these awesome things. But anyways, we followed up with the lead and we landed the deed and then we blasted it out today and that leads us to today. So we sent it out at $450,000 and a buyer that bought a property from me two and a half years ago, he bought it again. He bought this one. He bought another property from me is what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. So he called and he goes, Josh, I've missed the last couple. Hopefully I don't miss on this one. I knew he was excited right there. He said, oh, I think I can play the clip of the, of the call. We'll get that up here. I missed the last couple, so I hope maybe this one will work. <laughs> um, okay, let me, I, I'm definitely interested. Let me, let me run some numbers real quick and talk to my architect um, just to have him take a look at the zoning. I, I'll, get, I'll, let, I'll let you know like within a half an hour. If you get someone else, give, give you a holler. If you don't mind, could you just, could you just give me a shout before you sign with someone? But I'll well, I'm, honestly, this thing's going to go fast. I'm just, so I've been trying to keep up with stuff. Um, text and calls just while I'm on the phone with you. I've had four different people text me and been two missed calls One of which left the voicemail and the other one's probably leaving one right now So I do think it'll fly but yeah do do your thing and, and if you want it text me That way I would hate I would hate for you to call me and then it goes into the voicemail I definitely want it. I'm definitely very interested. I just want to I, I literally I'm like sitting looking at things on my cell phone so, if you decide you want it, just text me because I, okay. we're always first come, first serve. And I would hate for you to call me and say, I want it. And then I don't get that message until give after me, I've got like, Give me like 15 minutes. I, I'm, I'll go real quick. So he wanted the deal and that was awesome. Sure enough, I sent it to him. I went outside for a minute. He started power dialing me and I just let him for a minute. He called me like 13 times. I'll show this this screenshot right here. It was crazy, but it was cool. I called him back. I'll send it to you. And then as soon as you sign it, I'll sign it to execute it. And I'll okay. send it back to you and I'll loop in title and ask her to send you wiring instructions right away. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thanks, man. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, bye bye. All right. Just sent you that over. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, call me. The only thing I ask is that you send it back to me within 15 minutes. Um, I feel a lot of people go nuts over it. Um, but it's yours. Just it's a quick sign. Um, 
So yeah, any questions, just buzz me. Otherwise, um, you're good. And then as soon as I have that back, I will sign to execute it. I'll send it back to you and I will CC title and ask them to send you those wiring instructions. Thanks, man. You're gonna make a killing on this one. I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Well, that's 40 more than I'm I thought it was gonna go for. What'd you have it? 410? 410. Well, it's a horse full cell number? Yeah. Well, that's probably a good number. I mean, on something like that, because honestly, you can't. That's usually how you write them. You wanna make some gross if you do it or. If it ends up being small, you know what I mean? But yeah, being being stronger and trying to build it in with growth, so it's worth the time even. And until, oh, and, and, until he signs here, I don't yeah. even know that I'd officially change the whole sum. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the best thing. <laughs> so, Made the deal, he sent it to him via DocuSign, he electronically signed it quickly, 450, 10,000 earnest money. Guys, this is one thing that's really cool, you wanna do this on your assignment contracts. You wanna put on there that the buyer, if they back out of the contract, and I have a whole video on this, you guys can click up here for my whole contract, but. For assignments, specifically, you can put a clause on there that says, hey, you're already agreeing that you'll you'll waive your earnest money and an additional 10,000 in liquidated damages. And then it gives you as the assigner, right, the wholesale person doing the deal, the option that you can take that, keep their earnest money plus 10 grand in liquidated damages that they owe you, or you can still sue them for more. Now, it's gotta be worded correctly and all that stuff, guys, and I'm not a lawyer, but just understand that these clauses are powerful for educational use only. Know that you can have these clauses in there that say, hey, there's a, it's called a liquidated damages clause. And if the buyer doesn't deposit earnest money, you can still hold them accountable to not only the earnest money, but the liquidated damages on top of that, or even more. If you could say, hey, look, we, we thought we had a deal with you and then we missed the deal with somebody else. Look at what we would have made. That is strong, guys. Anyways, this deal's in the bag. This guy's gonna crush it. And we're gonna make 50 grand assignment. We're gonna do an assignment. We're not gonna do a double close. I don't see any reason to. I think everybody's gonna be fine with it. Seller's getting the price he wants. Buyer's getting at a price he's gonna make some money and he's not gonna walk away from $10,000 earnest money plus a possible $10,000 liquidated damages clause minimum even if he got mad over how much money we're gonna make, right? So I don't, this guy's cool. He's bought a couple deals from us. He's upset that he missed the last deal. So many of our deals go in, in minutes. Um, that I'm sure he's gonna be awesome. He's gonna be happy, make a bunch of money and wanna do more. And guys, if you need an instant cash buyers list, this is where I found this buyer. About half of my deals go to repeat buyers and about half of them go to a buyer that we haven't sold a house to before. Get your, I'll put the link in the description right now, but you can get, in whatever state you're in, you can literally get the agent database. It's so amazing, because I promise you, all the cash buyers, they either have a real estate license or their spouse has a real estate license or some, like their partner has a real estate license or they use a realtor like all the time, like on their team. I promise you, if you get that list, all the cash buyers in town are gonna be wanting your properties right away. They're gonna be seeing them. They're gonna be saying, add me to your buyer's list. And it's amazing. So get your market like that. When I started doing that, I remember the first property I ever sent out with using that like strategy. And I don't even remember where I got the list at the time, but uh, the title company maybe, and it like didn't have everybody's emails, but it had a lot. And anyway, um, you can get all of them now for your state. And, but I sent out a property and it sold within minutes. I'm like, and I had never talked to the buyer. I didn't know who they were. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Like I had spent money on direct mail, trying to build buyers and like the whole reverse wholesaling thing and like all this crap. I'm like, no, this like, this is guys, this will sell your next deal. Like I promise you for more money quicker. Like so many of my students are like, oh my gosh, Josh. like literally recently I'll put this up here real quick. Tyler was like, we were gonna sell this property and then we just sent it out and like somebody was like, yeah, I'll take that. And he was like, what is sold? So let me play that real quick. Thank you so much for the cash buyer hack because um, <clears throat> we just got one under contract a couple of days ago. It was off of a uh, of Pima Street. Uh huh. And it's literally, um, we picked it up for 70,000 and we just sold it for 120. Woo! And we used your assignment contract that you provide in the code, which is, thank God, that saved our ass in Florida for one of our our deals there too. So thank you. Awesome, man. Yeah, glad to hear that. Awesome stuff. Anyways, I'm almost to the property. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. So we're almost to the property and um, it's a cool area. There's a bunch of mountains like all over the place. I'll show you guys the views of my rear view mirror there. Mountains, super cool. Some more Arizona real estate here, almost to the property, and here it is. So the property goes back, goes up there, and there's a house over there. There's a road on our property that has an easement that goes to that house, and there's a road right there that has one that goes up to that other house. So first house up there, that one has an entry point somewhere else, doesn't touch our property. This big one right 
up there above our property, that's got an easement from our property, which is this road right there. And then over here, closer to me, is the one for that house right there. And this is 1.16 acres, it's like 51,000 square feet here in North Central Phoenix. But it's gonna have awesome views from the property. And I can't wait to close this one. We close this one quickly. We're gonna make 50 G's on this assignment. Guys, this is just a piece of land. And this deal only cost us pennies. So do you think wholesale real estate could change your life? Hit me up, follow, subscribe, like this video. Um, I'll try to hand out as many nuggets as I can. And I wanna see you crush it and change your life because wholesale real estate has changed mine. And now click this video right here to get some more gold nuggets.